Hello friends, so this is Prachi Gajjar. I'm back again. So today I'm going to share my experience on step one, like how I did. So first of all, for me, it was a little bit difficult because I was going to shift from book system to MCQ system. Again, shifting to first aid, which is very concise. It was a little bit challenging and a big change for me. But this is how I approached it. So first of all, I started with viewing Boards and Beyond videos or Osmosis. I would uh, view two to three topics and the same topic I would review it and read it from first aid. I took around three to four months in completing entire first aid along with videos. And then I subscribed my UWorld. And with my first pass of UWorld, I would again correlate each and every MCQ, each and every topic with first aid. I would anot extra pages or if you are using GoodNotes 5, you can anot it directly into that. So this way, with first pass of my UWorld, I completed second reading of first aid. And then every Sunday, I would take a break off from MCQ and revise my first aid or any previous old system which I had done like before 15 days, before one month or two months. So this way I kept my touch with first aid systems. Otherwise you will forget everything. And let me tell you that first aid is so concise uh, that you will forget if you don't revise the topics or the systems. So you have to keep on re-revising it again and again. And before appearing uh, for my step one exam, I completed seven to eight readings of first aid. As first aid is a Gita, Bible or Quran for step one. So number of times you revise first aid is equivalent to your score or your confidence for the exam. So after completing my first pass of UWorld, I again started my second pass. Uh, I just reviewed my wrongs and uh, marked questions. And I still I did not stop revising my first aid. So I would give 50% of my day to first aid revision and 50% of my day to MCQ solving. That is second pass of UWorld. Or you can combine emboss question bank. So here's the trick. In second pass of UWorld, you should observe your score, how much percentage you are scoring. You should try to improve it by focusing or checking your weak systems. So while doing your second pass of UWorld, you should check on your percentage, how much you improved from your first pass and do check out your wrongs what common mistakes you are making daily is there a problem in your mcq solving technique or is there a problem in your memory or uh, some misunderstanding of some topics so here is an important part of correction you need to recheck or re-review those weak topics you can again re-watch the videos from osmosis or bmp or you can use any other literature So after two passes of UWorld and two to three reading of first aid, I gave my first NBME assessment and I really scored bad, but I did not stop correcting myself. So this is how I did. On the other day of NBME, I would spare one day to just review my wrongs. Uh, I divided my wrong into two sections, the wrongs which are like out of the course, which I would not know even if I read for two years and the other wrong which were my silly mistakes or my memory problem or some of my misconceptions from first aid. So I focused and concentrated on those weak topics. So how did I strengthen my weak topics? So first of all, I found my weak areas from my NBME wrongs, from my UL wrongs and I analyzed my entire first aid and I marked around 150 pages of first aid which were my weak topics which I had which I needed to review it again and again even if I read it like 100 times so what I would do is I would spare 30 to 40 minutes daily in reviewing those 150 pages not all but just daily 10 pages so in about one week I would review all those 150 pages I would repeat that cycle again from Monday so number of times I revised those weak areas, they actually became my strong points.
how did I improve my NBME score to about 20 to 30 points from my first NBME. So as I said, I would review my weak areas daily. I would analyze my wrong and I got some few systems and few topics that, okay, this is, this is, I'm always going to get this wrong. So I would create a uh, UWorld blocks with those specific systems and I would solve them. I would also solve emboss from that topic. And if anything, any sentence, any word is remained unclear from first aid, I would make sure to rewatch videos and to clear it with my study partner or my friends. How did I stay motivated and positive during my last month of step one preparation? So I would celebrate my daily short goals. For example, if yesterday I solved just 50 MCQ and today I solved 70 to 80 MCQ, I would be happy. I would celebrate. I would share it with my family, my husband. Also, uh, reading with study partner helped me to stay focused and consistent with my study schedule. With step one going pass and fail, what is the right time to book dates for your exam? So I have observed that many students, they actually sit for the exam once they start getting just 200 or 210. No, I suggest you to at least score 220 or 230 consistently in your NBMEs before scheduling your exam. Because I have seen from my experience as well as my friend's experience that everyone almost gets like 10 to 20 score plus or minus in the real exam compared to NBME. And I don't want you to take any risk because yeah, attempts do count. Just one tip for medical students who recently started preparing for step one from their first year of MBBS. Please start reading and understanding first aid from day one. You can read the similar topics which are being taught in your medical school. Like if they are teaching you endocrine, please review that from Boards and Beyond and first aid. This is how you can build your first aid concept very strong from day one of your medical school that will ultimately reflect on your step scores. With step one going pass and fail, here I want to clear one misconception. As it is pass and fail, you will think that just read first aid one to two times, just solve your word and go for the exam. Is it good or is it okay? No. Why? because they are going to focus on your step 2 CK as well as step 3 scores. To score well in step 2 CK, you need to have a strong foundation of step 1 first aid concepts because without that, you won't be able to diagnose or solve step 2 CK MCQ. So again, it becomes very, very important. And let me tell you, step 3 paper 1 is all about first aid. So you cannot miss or ignore your first aid. Hope my experience helped you. If you have any queries, do check out my step one experience on my Instagram page, USMLE term to IM, or feel free to DM me on my Instagram page or here on the comment section below.